there, I'm Chelsea Clarkson from Grove Letter Farm. We raise egg layers here. We do sheep for both meat and for wool, and we've got cattle. But today's video is gonna be all about the fiber that we raise here on our farm. I got some shots of our shearer who came this week, and I've also got a few short videos of me spinning on my wheel so you get to see what it looks like when that wool comes off the animal and gets sent back to us. So I hope you'll enjoy, and please remember to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Sheep are interesting creatures because they live symbiotically with us. They're exceptionally vulnerable to predators, and then they also need assistance with removing these heavy wool coats. Shearing began about the year 35,000 BC, which means that we human beings have been doing it for over 5,000 years now. And at our farm, we're very blessed because we have a shearer who happens to be a woman, and she's very gentle and very knowledgeable as well. And so shearing is always a fun event at our farm. The reason I say they live symbiotically with us is because they cannot shed this wool on their own. At this point, you know, following thousands of years of living alongside humans, they need to be shorn by humans once a year in order to be free of these heavy wool coats. Each one of these sheep will, um, have their fleece removed at a weight of about two to five pounds depending on the quality of the wool and how good and how thick it is and it, if it were to remain on them especially here in south florida where it's so hot it would be detrimental to the sheep so here's our little flock of florida cracker sheep totally naked after their haircuts enjoying a little bit of fresh grass um, and the shearer will take all that wool with her it ended up being 12 bags of fiber while it's physically possible that i could wash all those fleeces myself and i could comb them into roving it's physically possible but not at all probable so i'm very grateful that our shearer has a fiber mill and she's going to send it back to me as beautiful roving all right so i'm doing a little bit of spinning on my shot reeves wheel and this fiber that i'm spinning is from our florida cracker sheet and it's obviously been dyed blues and greens um, let me get the wheel going here this particular batch of wool is kind of um i don't know if i want to say it's seconds but it's not quite as smooth as some of the other wool that i've spun off our sheet these i this is from last year and this year we've been way more intentional about making sure that we're breeding sheep that have, um, you know, a longer fleece, a better fleece, more crimp, more shine. And some of the wool I got back last year, uh, definitely from fleeces where the wool was a little bit shorter, maybe a little nubbier. And so it's more likely to break when I'm spinning this. So let's see if I can get it going again. All right, I'm gonna join these two pieces. Now this is just a single, this is not enough for yarn. You first spin a single like this, and then you ply two together or more, two, three, four, five, um, as many as you'd like to make a thicker yarn and also a rounder yarn. Can you see it, Rosa? Mm-hmm. My seven-year-old is my camera woman today. And I've been desperate to do some spinning, but because I have a toddler, spinning is actually harder for me now. I, when I have four kids and my youngest, when she was a baby, I was actually getting a fair amount of spinning done for our business. Now that she's a toddler, and it seems like her ultimate goal is to destroy me every single day. <laughs> I'm not doing much spinning, but my husband Tim just took her outside so that I could get a little break from her and just finish this little bit of yarn that I have left on this one. And then I'll ply it up and make a nice skein of yarn for our customers. So this one is definitely like I've from this batch, I've spun some that are really smooth, and this one is very difficult to spin. It's kind of short. Rosa, do you want to come up close in my hands? It's, just, it's hard to see now that it's made into this roving, but it's just a little bit shorter, not quite as nice of quality. It's not going to make the wool any, the finished yarn any less um, nice. It's more that the fibers are short, so it's harder on the spinner. They're kind of short. 
guess hairy, fuzzy. <laughs> this is a shocked Reeves wheel. There was a man named Rick Reeves who was a um, independent wheel builder and he really made wheels that were not at all like machines, more like instruments. And Schacht is a, um, also a wheel company. Actually, they make more than wheels. They make looms, all kinds of cool stuff. But they partnered with Rick Reeves so that they could bring some of the artistry from his craftsman wheels uh, to their company. So this is their, it's kind of like their premium wheel. I found it used, though I did get a really good deal on it. Um, but it's, a, it's definitely, I tell the kids, this wheel is um, an instrument. It should be handled really gently. Because for kids, it's very tempting to see the pedals um, and just want to ride it like a bicycle. And you really uh, got to treat this wheel with love. All right, I got to. So, see how it's getting too thick here? That means I need to switch my hooks. So, I'm going to switch to this hook here so I have a little bit more space for wool in that little indent. Okay, so now I'm taking the wool that I've already spun and I'm plying it on a different wheel. So if you come close so they can see my hands. I'm plying just means that I'm using more than one single. I'm putting two singles together to actually make it into yarn. And um, I can do three singles, I can do more. <laughs> and I'm using a different wheel because this little workhorse wheel, this one is actually older than I am, um, but it's very fast for plying and it has a huge bobbin. So this bobbin can hold much more, which means I can spin for longer. <laughs> this is why I can't create YouTube videos. Okay, so it means I can spin for longer without having to stop or go to a new bobbin. I can just go and go and go on this huge bobbin. So, so let's take it with my hands again. I'm taking the two separate singles that I've spun and I'm putting them together on here. Mm -hmm.